Hi friends, in today's lecture, we will study how to make this panel in AutoCAD. Now before we start constructing this geometry, the first thing which I would urge you to do is to take a print of the PDF file, the link for which I have given in the description of this video. Keep that print handy as you are continuing this project. I have also provided a link for the DWG file so that you can later on compare your project with the drawing provided to you. So let's see how to construct this project. So we'll begin this project by drawing this center line first and then we'll start constructing it from year, then year, then year, year and slowly extend to the middle. So let's begin by drawing one line. So I'll draw one line from here. I'll use the line command and I will draw one line which extends from here of a approximate length up to here and hit enter. I will ensure that the zero layer is the current layer. So I'll make the zero as the current layer. And also this line which I have drawn, I will put it into the current line. So we have constructed this line. Now let us see this lower part. So you can see that this lower part, I'll just erase this dimension and recreate the dimension. So I will select horizontal dimension from end of this line end of this so you can see this entire distance is 7.6 unit so from here if you go to this side then it would be 7.6 divided by 2 and if you want only this much distance then it would be 7.6 divided by 2 minus 0.5 so we use the calculator for this calculation and in the calculator we will type 7.6 divided by 2 so it is 3.8 so this distance is 3.8 and from 3.8 we will subtract 0 0.5 so this distance is 3.3 so we will first draw this line of 3.3 units so I'll type the line command and hit enter and from here 3.3 and hit enter then I will put one point at the end of this line like this next you will see that we have to draw one more line of 0.5 units so Again, we proceed from here, we draw one more line of 0.5 units and hit enter. Now you can see that this distance from the end of this line to here, this distance is 5 units. So we will draw one line of 5 units from here. So we will select line and we we'll say end of this line and go on the top 5 units and hit end <clears throat> now if you see the edge of this line is uh, you can see that it is filleted so the fillet angle for all the radius in this drawing is 0 0.5 so we'll fill it at a radius of 0 0.5 so we'll use the fillet command and then we'll give radius and radius will give 0 0.5 it enter first line to fillet and the second line and it gets filleted we will trim the extra part so I will type trim and we don't need this extra part so we hit end
so that's the actually extension of the point and not any extension of line so let it remain as it is so we have finished with this now we have to draw this hexagon so you can see this distance is 0.5 so what we'll do we'll offset this line at 0.5 units distance so we we'll select offset Offset distance 0.5. Select line to offset and side to offset. Hit enter. Then we'll draw one line from node of this to end of this. This gives us the center point. So you can see that we have drawn this line of 0.5 units, and then we have drawn one line over here. So we got the center point now we want to make this hexagon and you can see the diameter for this is 0.5 so let's go ahead we we'll use the autocad command called as polygon and hit enter it is asking me number of sides so i will six six then it is asking me center of the polygon I select this. Then it is asking me inscribed or circumscribed. I select circumscribed, and the radius I type 0.25. Hmm? Remember the diameter is 0.5, so the radius is 0.25, and our hexagon is ready. We can check the dimension from year to year. It should be 0.5, and also. We'll check this distance. So, from year to year, 0.25, and also you can check this distance from year to year. It is 0.5. So, this hexagon, we have succeeded in making it. Now we have to make one hexagon in the center, and we have to mirror this on the right. So. First, we'll begin with the mirror command. So we'll type mirror, and we'll hit enter. Select the objects to mirror. These are the objects. Hit enter. First point of mirror line is this, and second point of mirror line is this, and hit enter. Now our objects are mirrored. The unwanted lines will erase it. So we don't need this line. We don't need this line. We don't need this dimension. We don't need this line, and we don't need this. Now we want to draw this hexagon in the center of 0.25 radius. But remember, the center point of that is 0.5. Is at 0.5 units. So, I if I type polygon. And I select number of sides as six, and then it asks me the center of the polygon. So for that, we'll require this line of 0.5 units. So let us select offset, offset distance as 0.5. And select the object to offset and side to offset and hit enter. Now we will type polygon. Hit enter. Number of sides six. Center of the polygon is this. And circumscribed. And the radius is 0.25 and hit enter. So this polygon is also ready. We'll erase this line and hit enter. Now we have to construct one line from end of this to end of this. So we will select line and one line from end of this to end of this. This gives us the center point. Now with that center point, we'll draw this innermost circle, and the diameter for that innermost circle is two units. So we'll first begin this innermost circle. 
So we'll select center diameter. We'll select this as the center point. Diameter is 2 and hit enter. First circle is ready. Now the second circle diameter is 2.8. So let's come here. Again center diameter. Select the center point and diameter is 2.8 and hit enter. So second circle is also ready. Next we will draw this third circle and the diameter for that is 3.4. So again center diameter this is the center point and the diameter is 3.4 and hit enter. So first circle is done, second circle is done, third circle is done and now we come to the fourth circle. So the fourth circle if you see the diameter for the fourth circle is 4 units. So we will draw the fourth circle again by using center diameter, center and the diameter is 4 units and hit enter. So these four circles are ready 1, 2, 3 and 4. We will also draw this outer circle and let us see what is the radius of this outer circle. So for that we use dimensioning and we see radius and we click here and we get the radius as 2.8. So this outer circle which you see the radius is 2.8. So we will draw one circle center radius. This as the center point and radius is 2.8 and hit enter. So the outer circle is also ready. Now we have to draw this line. This line if you want you can check the dimension of this linear dimension it should be one unit so from here to here if you see it is one unit this is also one unit so we will offset this line one unit distance so we will select line uh, sorry we will select offset and offset distance as one unit select the line to offset side to offset line to offset and side to offset and then hit end. Now we will draw one line from tangential to this circle and perpendicular to this line. Enter. We will draw another line tangential to this circle and perpendicular to this line and hit end. Now we'll trim the unwanted part of the circle. So we'll select trim. We don't need this. We don't need this part. We don't need this part and we don't need this part. <coughs> Next we have to draw these inner circles. So this inner circle first you can see there are 8 inner circles around the circle 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8 and the 8 inner circle is of diameter 0.3 so let's come here and we will select circle and we have to select center diameter and we come at this point and the inner circle diameter is 0.3. So I type 0.3 and hit enter. Circle center diameter. Center is this diameter is 0 0.3 and hit enter. So inner circle diameter was 0 0.3, outer circle diameter 0 0.4. So again we select circle 
center diameter center point is this and the diameter is 0 0.4 and hit end now you can see we want the two circles to be added eight times one two three four five six seven and eight so we'll use the array command of autocad so we'll type array and we'll hit enter select the objects to array we select the first circle and the outer circle hit enter enter the array type we select polar enter the center point this is the center point then give number of items so we type 8 and we hit enter so we get the 8 circles drawn <clears throat> so that part is also done now we have to draw these polygons at the end of these circles and also if you see that we have to draw one line on the top let's see what is this distance so dimension from year to year you can see is 0.5 so this is 0.5 and this is also 0.5 so we we'll draw one line from end of this so when we take it two units hit enter and then we offset that line to 0.5 units select the object to offset and side to offset so we get this center point so we'll use the polygon command and number of sides is 6 center of the polygon is this circumscribed and the radius is 0 0.25 and hit enter so this polygon is also ready <coughs> now this distance is 0.5 so we'll draw one line from here and extend it to 0.5 and hit enter and you can see that this distance is 2 units so this is also 2 units so we will draw one line from here 2 units and enter again line from here and 2 units and again end then we'll join these lines so we say line from here we press f8 and up to here enter again line from here up to here and end now we want to fillet these edges you can see the radius is 0 0.5 so we come here we say fillet and the radius and the radius is 0 0.5 select the two lines to fillet again fillet select the two lines to fillet and the angles are filleted <coughs> now we want to draw these two polygons over here if you do the dimensioning and you check from year to year you can see it is 0.5 and year to year also you can see that it is 0.5 so we come over here <coughs> and we put one point over here and we erase this line and we draw one line from here and perpendicular to this line then we draw one polygon number of sides is six 
center of the polygon is midpoint of this circumscribed and the radius is 0 0.25 and hit end. Now we don't need the central line, we erase it and we put one point in the center. <coughs> Now we ought to make one more polygon over here. So we we'll select line from end of this and perpendicular to this. And again we type polygon. Number of sides is 6. Center of polygon is made of this. And we want circumscribed. And the radius is 0 0.25. And this polygon is also ready. Now we have to construct one last part, and that is these two circles. So you can see the radius of these two circles is 2.7 and 3.3. So we'll first draw this circle of 2.7 radius. So we select circle center radius give this as the center point and radius is 2.7 and hit enter then we draw the outer circle radius is 3.3 .3. so again circle center radius this is the center and the radius is 3.3 .3. hit enter <coughs> Now we want these rounded edges at the corner. Now if you see, if you go to measure this angle by using the dimension tool and selecting angle, this and this, you will come to know that the angle is 45 degrees. So, and so is this side also, it is 45 degrees. So what we'll do, we'll come to our drawing and we'll select, so this way it is 45, this way it is 90, 135, 180, 180 plus 45. So you can say 180 plus 45 is equal to 225. So we'll draw one line. <coughs> from here of uh, 5 units distance and at an angle of 225 and hit enter. So we get this line and same way over here <coughs> it will be 180 plus 90 plus 45. So, it would be 180 plus 90 plus 45. It is 315. So, we will draw one line from here. 5 units at an angle of 315 and hit end. Now, we will trim this extra part of the circle which we don't need so we we'll select trim and we'll select this part we don't need this part we don't need this part we don't need so the part which we don't need we will just trim it off and same way we don't need for the inner circle this part we don't need and this part also we don't need. So, this is how we finish the circle. Now we will draw a two point circle over here. So, we select circle, two point, first point here, second point. Again circle, two point, first point here, second point. Then we trim we we'll select this area we don't want and this area we don't want. 
so this is also constructed so our panel is now ready so friends hope you have learned many commands in this project continue practicing and we'll see you again in the next video and don't forget that if you like this video you have to like share and subscribe we'll see you again in the next video till that time goodbye